Yo, 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 what is going on everybody? Stock Apples Jack here bringing you another video. And today, we are going to be discussing once again, the trending and confusing MMTLP. So, as you can see, on Friday, we closed at a dollar ninety per share. But again, there's so much confusion. George, who is the CEO of Meta Materials, has not made an announcement yet. There's no news from the actual company itself, but it is believed there's a surprise from the hedge funds to get investors to sell back their shares to them for cheap so they will not have to pay as much when the dividend is actually released but of course this is not financial advice guys this video is for entertainment purposes only and we are going to get into some big stuff here so the volume on MMTLP was over 11 million on Friday while MMAT's volume was just roughly 6 million as you can see here MMTLP reached a high of 320 and it opened at 80 cents all next week should be a big day the volume should increase substantially from 11 million with the amount of hype in my own opinion you could see an increase but you could see some people taking some profits but of course you have to remember selling away mmtlp is selling away your chance at the dividend it is believed so obviously it reaches a point where if it reaches a certain price you have to secure some profit as you can see here the shorts are scared Somebody asked a question just based on the dividend paying stock. And they said, why do, did I have to repay it? As you can see, there are several downsides to short selling. And as you can see here, you are responsible for paying any dividends issued by the stock while you're short. And here's why. However, in the meantime, whoever you borrowed the shares from still technically owns them. And if there's a dividend that is scheduled to be paid out, they're entitled to it. Since their shares have been sold to a third party, the short seller is responsible for making the payment if the short position exits as the stock goes X dividend. So, a quick example. As you can see, if you short 1,000 shares AT&T and keep the position open through the next X dividend date, you'll owe your broker $500 on top of any other expenses associated with shorting the stock. So that's why it's believed this MMAT dividend could be substantial and it's believed that MMTLP is a way for the hedge funds to get back in to it and lower the dividend price so they don't have to pay back as much as you can see here it is not guaranteed either that we'll receive the preferred stock dividend because the asset sale must occur to the earlier date of December 31st 2021 which is six months from the closing agreement but if it's not sold by then, obviously you heard tell about this. The company will affect a spin-off, be basically a spin-off dividend. Another big thing here. The company will not be required to pay any net proceeds or hold back dividends until the aggregate amount of accrued asset sale dividend is at least two million. So with every two million dollar in sales, they can issue a dividend to the shareholders, but it is believed they will have to pay this out to the shareholders who held through the X dividend date within 30 days. So you should see your money within 30 days. Again, nobody knows when the dividend is happening, but it's very interesting to say the least. But continuing on, while I know the OST Series A dividend. So as you can see, short positions pre-merged are required to buy back the preferred share dividend as we talked about. An example is OSTK. As you can see, OSTK issued a preferred dividend value on May 22nd, and short positions were forced to buy back the dividend when scree which squeezed the stock and the preferred dividend. The stock squeezed from $3 to $120. The preferred dividend ran, ran from $8 to $80. But since MMAT did not make an official announcement about MMTLP, the preferred shares are irrelevant still at this moment because we don't really know what's going on. But... With OSTK, I know it's a different case. I'm just giving an example because the preferred dividend is what happened to OSTK as well. I'm not saying this will happen with Meta. You have to do your own research and own due diligence. But it's going to be interesting to see what happens next week. Regardless, there's a lot of question marks. We're still waiting for an announcement from the company. I personally believe George don't really know what's going on. He's trying to get some answers. But anyways, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe for some more content. Of course, have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.